Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. Today we are looking at the write split string method. So the write split method splits a string into a list starting from the right. Now you can specify the separator. By default, the separator is any white space. And the method behaves the same as the split method if no max split is specified. Okay, so this is how the syntax looks like. And we have uh, two optional parameters. The separator or the delimiter is basically a string at which the string is uh, separated. And by default, the white space is a separator. Now the other optional parameter is a max split, which specifies how many splits to do. And by default, the value is negative one. Now the method will return a list of words in string using separator as the default uh, delimiter string. And starting at the end of the string and working to the front, if max split is given, at most max split splits are done. Now, if separator is not specified, any white space string is a separator. Okay, so let's look at some examples. In the first example, we have specified the max split. Uh, we have specified it explicitly uh, by explicitly writing the max split uh, parameter name. Now, uh, since it is a value one, we are going to do one split, meaning that the returning list will contain two elements. And we can see that uh, the first split, which was done, was done from the right side, meaning that the jungle is a separate element, whereas the rest of the string is as, as a whole. Now, in the second example, we have specified both parameters, even though the first a parameter has been set to none and we can see that this max split was set to three meaning that the returning list contains four elements now in this last example this is uh, one of the fastest ways how to retrieve the last element of the string if you know the separator so let's say I want to get the last element of the string and I know the separator and I don't want to create a list of um, multiple elements. I can uh, specify that I want to do only a one um, split from the right side, and then I can retrieve the last element of the string, and this should return the element values. Yeah, so this is the right split method, and that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching.